The group Keep America Safe, a conservative outfit that does not believe President Obama has the right take on terrorism. One thing I'd like to point out is, is that the system worked. Everybody played an important role. In many ways, uh, this system has worked. Uh, we just have to continue to keep refining it. How long did it take you to realize the system failed? All right, with his net analyzed, Fox News analyst Jane Skinner, very slick. That yeah. was one of the slickest pieces of propaganda. And I say propaganda because it is. I mean, it's trying to design to make... Uh, President Obama looked bad by a group that opposes his presidency, but that was super slick. Where's Jack Bauer, right, when we yeah, need him? Yeah, very uh, high tech. The group is called Keep America Safe, and it's run by Liz Cheney, former Vice President Dick Cheney's daughter. They have some legitimate questions, big questions, about the president's approach to national security. I mean, it looked like a campaign ad, uh, and I guess... I thought it looked like a movie. <laughs> I, I, or you know, a primetime show on Fox, now, right? You know, uh, we love you, Jane, and, we, and we're glad you're here, but we did call Liz Cheney about this ad, and you know what she said to us? Huh. I hate O'Reilly. <laughs> she does. She, <laughs> she hates me. No. She does. Who could hate you, seriously? Uh, many, many people could. And I think it's, it's hereditary because her father hates me, too. Really? Dick Cheney, yeah. And Liz Cheney hates me. But so we said, gee, could you just come on? And he go, she goes, well, maybe if there's a guest host. You know, <laughs> never so I'll be on. hosting, and Liz so will come on tomorrow. I, and the only reason I mention it is because I, I, I get from liberal people, oh, you're conservative. They hate me too. They hate me too. <laughs> but I thought this ad was devastating. Uh, well, you know, it's interesting. It does look like a campaign ad or a television show. Um, it, it raises the question, though. This group ha does have, as I said, big questions about his approach. Eight years after 9-11, we should be having a conversation. We should have a bold debate on that. Oh, absolutely. But it raises the question about, does something like this actually is it at the level of a debate for national security that we want to have? It is at that level because President Obama has to decide what his strategy is. He's the leader. He's the leader. And if he doesn't mention it for three days, then that sends a message it's not that important. So your issue was you wanted to see him more when he more, was on vacation. I, I said it from the beginning. We need General Patton. That's what we need. All right, we're not getting it. Okay. But with this ad, though, aren't they doing the same thing that was done to President Bush when he was at Crawford and mountain oh, biking look, Hurricane and all that Katrina. stuff for years? Hurricane Katrina, Bush got hammered, but just because, you know, and Bush made a mistake not responding quickly enough to... But that doesn't mean that he wasn't engaged and he wasn't getting updates every he few wasn't hours engaged, and wasn't on the job He wasn't engaged at the level he should have been, President Bush, and neither was President Obama on this, in my opinion. All right, now, we just talked about the late-night thing.